Chabad, we never heard it. I heard it from someone else also in previous year, I think, or somewhere. But it, it's interesting because in Chabad, I, I, know, I wasn't even aware that, that his wife passed away in his lifetime. Yeah, I've read it many times. Yeah? It's not brought okay. down in It's Chabad. not brought down by us, So I'm not aware of it. So I just, I, I just, I'm having, I just would like a little bit more depth on why that the man needs the beauty so much. Why does he need beauty so much in Okay, in so let's not. Okay. I, I see now. I, men go crazy. That I, I see. They I do see everything so. to, in okay, their life. Not, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep it more so? on the spiritual level no, and why, it's, it's, spiritual, it's, spiritual, I mean. why it reflects on this physical level. Right, it. it says, Why is it that our matriarchs were beautiful people? Arimais, Sora, Rivka, Rocha, Leia, beautiful women. So the Rebbe explains the beauty that comes on an external level is because it is within, comes from within. When their nishamas are in a beautiful level, their nishamas are enhanced, and also their deeds are enhanced, it is also reflected in a physical beauty. And that's why when we say physical beauty, it is not just physical beauty, it's also a, 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 a spiritual beauty. It signifies a spiritual beauty. The Rebbe says the Lashen, it shined into their physical beauty. There was once a group of girls that were in a beauty contest, Israeli girls. They came to the Rebbe for dollars. <laughs> and the Rebbe turned to them and the Rebbe told them. The Rebbe gave each one a dollar and the Rebbe said, Sheker achein, wow. cool. The Rebbe says, Chain, charm and beauty alone is empty. The main thing you should have is Yiras Hashem. And I think this is what the Rebbe also added in one of the places, is this place. The Rebbe said, when you will have fear of Hashem, incorporated then everything will make will will mean will be meaningful yeah. so basically it's a person has to know what are the priorities so when we speak about physically in this physical world it says that what is the beauty of a person depends on the thoughts of the couple when they are together when they are together yeah, right conception and even whenever they're they're together the thoughts of the person, the purity of the thoughts, and the images that they're thinking about then, actually reflects on the beauty of the children. And that particular moment. That moment. Or throughout. That they're together. Or throughout the pregnancy. Throughout the pregnancy is the, 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 the environment, Tero Mitzvahs, uh, but the, that moment is the Levushe, the the Tare the, the thought, the purity of the thoughts. And that's why by Chassidim Bechlal, it's basically thinking an image of a Rebbe. Basically thinking about a righteous person, which is a Simen Brocha. It's mentioned in Reish's Chachma, in a Kabbalah Sefer, very much so how much the image is so important then, because this is what forms the whole, form not the Nishama. The Nishama, a person doesn't know who they can bring down in this hmm. physical world. They can bring down, it's very interesting, it says that by, uh, somebody was once harassing the Rav Shneir Zalman of Liadi son. The Mitzvah the Rebbe, the one that wrote this discourse, and says, "Ah, when he was, uh, they were, uh, they were, you know, they, they had a little quarrel of words between each other." So he says, "Ah, who are you?" He says, "He says, let me tell you, what are you, what are you measuring up to me?" That person said, "A simple person." He says, "Who is my father?" And when he needed to bring me down, he says, uh, "Who knows what he thought then?" He says, "Your father is a Rebbe, and he knew exactly to what chamber to go to bring down your neshama." He says, what are we comparing notes one with another? He says, we're on two different worlds. But in general, a person is not a, cannot control what Nishama is bringing down. But they could control the garments of the person's soul and the beauty of the, person, of the child. I think you're tired. And on this occasion, I want to wish Mazel Tov for uh -huh. it. He is a chassan and he joined the club. Could you elaborate, Rabbi, about, uh, if I may ask, uh, yeah. this is like overtime, we got to pay extra. <laughs> about avoiding uh, making the wife cry. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, it's work. I mean, that's a serious thing. Yeah. It's work. The yeah. Gemara says it's work. It's, it's uh, the Gemara in Bab Metziah, 59, I think, 59a, speaks about it. To be careful not to bring tears, because these tears is a... Uh, is something that's very unpleasant for the house. It has spiritual significance too, right? Pashtas, yeah. I mean, once we know who Malchus is, who we're going to the table with, it's we're dealing here with a completely different personality. It's not like you just picked up a maid in the house, you know? 
It's a, it's a whole, it's the, the crown and the channel of blessings in the house. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Um,